And our next guest has some staying power as well. Cisco Morris has been with New Day since we started and even longer. He's been with King Five. He's here today because apparently he knows how to bring all the butterflies to our yeah. yard, Ooh, which so I fun. love. Okay, I we've been talking about how to do this and even my my mother in Pennsylvania is also planning a whole butterfly garden so oh, cool. this was some really great information so first of all what are some of the most common butterflies we see here in the Pacific Northwest gardens when you you says the western tiger swallowtail and I think I, I have some pictures so you can see oh yeah we see this a lot okay. and uh, one time a whole bunch of plants at Seattle, you were being eaten up by these caterpillars. Yeah. I brought one of the caterpillars in, put it in an aquarium in my office. It hatched out one of yeah, those so guys. Beautiful. So okay, they so can eat a, anything they okay. want. This is the painted lady. Yeah. Wow, beautiful. Aren't they pretty? And you only see those some years. Some years okay. they don't show up. And oh. then other years there's a million. This is Longquins. Admiral? Lorquin, Lorquin Admiral, and that everybody thinks that's monarch. Right, but not. It's but it's Lorquin. not, but okay. it, you see these a lot Beautiful. in our gardens. Okay, and then last one is woodland skipper. This is a kind of a cross between a butterfly and a moth. moth. Okay. And they're so cute, okay. they skip around oh. in your garden. Okay, so if they're, if they're skipping in your garden, this is the one. That's some, the one. Some people wonder if we have monarch butterflies here. Do we have any? We don't have any in Seattle. Okay. Um, I've never seen one in Seattle. There are a few in one spot in Tacoma, oh. down by a railroad yard. They like Tacoma, <laughs> but not Seattle. Well, you know why you see them back in Wischewskin, where I grew up at all those yes. places? It's because okay. the milkweed, the Asclepius that's everywhere. We don't have ah, that They here. like that. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to bring the butterflies to the yard. And you, so you, this picture, is this for, about wind, right? This is, yeah, because... Butterflies hate wind. They okay. love sun. They want it hot and sunny. But you see those uh, those plants that are mm -hmm. <laughs> those are delphiniums. That the wind blew those over. No, okay. even though that's a big butterfly plant, the butterflies aren't going to that garden because it's, it's too, too windy. windy. So yeah. you want to make sure you plant in an area that's not a lot of wind. Yeah. Now I thought this was fascinating. This is a flat rock, and you said you need flat rocks in the garden for the butterflies. Yeah. Why? They like to sit on those and get a good suntan. Okay. <laughs> so they rest? It, yeah, on they those? rest on those. They like sitting in the okay. sun and uh, warming up so they can fly good and everything. Wow. You'll see them on there. Okay, and then um, water sources. Yeah, so if you've got an old bird bath you're not using too much okay. or something, fill it with mud or sand. Okay. And always keep it moist. And the butterflies love that. They'll come down to that mud. And uh, and you know what else they love? What's that? They love sweaty people. Oh. <laughs> I was hiking in the Alps, and there was a mud puddle full of butterflies. In the Swiss Alps? It, yeah, and this was my wife and I hiked yeah. the whole 360 miles of the, wow. uh, the French Alps, all French Alps. just the two of and us. And you were sweaty, and the butterflies were landing on you? All the butterflies just came out of this muddy okay. thing and just got all over. I couldn't get them off me. So, so, so flat rocks and sweaty people? Sweaty people. So okay. if you want to track them, you know. Do lots of hard gardening and then stand by the. Who would have thought? Okay, and if you need another kind of water source, if you don't have that big bird bath, then even like a bucket would would work with water and sand. A bucket would sand. work with okay. sand, or even just if you have a little mud puddle that okay. you just keep oh, wet. A mud puddle. In your they garden. love mud. So. Sweaty mud puddles. All right, I get it. Okay, you have some plants that butterflies particularly like. Yeah. So let's talk about some of your favorites. So these are all ones that I have in my garden okay. and. Uh, but anything with a dome, oh, a do watch you, where you, you touch that. Oh, okay. That is You're so about sharp. This, this yeah. Area right here. So anything okay. with a dome okay. like that. So black eyed Susan, you know, oh, they because just. Because they're looking for this to rest on? They're looking for that. No, they put their little proboscis uh -huh. in there. There's millions of little flowers in there with nectar. Ah, and yeah. the domes are easy. Okay. That's their favorite right this there. One right Echinacea, here? cone flower. That's orange adobe, but there's a ton of cone flowers you can right. get. Ooh, they're on those all okay. the time. So if you really want the butterflies in your yard, this this is the cones plan. are good. Okay. But they like a lot of other stuff. Okay. I don't even know what this is. Okay. But they <laughs> I like wish this. I did, but I see butterflies on it every day. Oh, okay. So anything. This is a strancha. They love that. And uh, this white one's a strancha. Yeah, and this is okay. this is that. Uh, Oh, um, I see this a lot. Sedum, Autumn Joy, okay. when that turns red, ooh, 
butterflies will be on that. So they're waiting. And they're when, waiting. When this yeah, they're not. This, they're, this isn't producing nectar yet, but okay. it will soon. Okay. And this. Ooh, that's so pretty. Isn't this pretty? This is Asclepius. And they love this. This is milkweed. This is the milkweed you were talking yep, about. Yeah, but okay. this is a fancy hybrid of one, okay. but got, the monarchs love them just okay. as much. So if we all plant this milkweed, we can have we might finally monarchs get monarchs yard. to People, hang this around here. This is what we here. need. I mean, I love that they're in Tacoma, but we need them in Seattle as we well. We need them everywhere. Okay, yeah. perfect. And then what about this one down here? That's Asclepius that I just oh, okay. bought. Oh, it's just not blooming. <laughs> we used to grow this at Seattle. Ah, you know, it does okay. great in Seattle. Okay. So. Well, so tell me, can the caterpillars hurt our garden, though? Well, you know, if you grow Asclepius, right. the reason the monarchs love it is because it's poison, and so they lay their eggs on it. The caterpillars eat the leaves and get the poison in them, oh. and that's why nothing will eat a monarch butterfly. The oh. colors tell the birds, don't touch that guy. They're poison. Oh, wow. So, That's nature right so, there in action. Okay. So we would sometimes get other caterpillars that would uh, lay their eggs on there. And would you pull the caterpillars off? No, we'd okay. let, let them chew it up. It. Okay. And my last question is, do the butterflies know my yard? Will they know my, will they come back and, and not go to my yard if it's better and not oh, go to the neighbor's no, yard? Not. I mean, I want to know if I can beat the neighbors in getting more butterflies You know that I throw Brussels sprouts at anyone right. that stumps me. And you don't know. You don't, don't know, know if they know me. I don't know if they know what they came like, from. I'm going and come back, back to Susie's house again this year. That's what I want to know. How many birds do that? I, I but I don't know about butterflies. All right. I'm going to have them. to tag some. I stumped you. All right. Thank you. Well, Cisco never has enough time to tell us everything, so he always writes it up for our website, including the names of his favorite butterfly loving plants, these and a, a lot more, and even some tips. Head to kingfive.com slash newday and bring all the butterflies to your yard and name at least one of them Cisco.